your presence in this space is no mere coincidence. It's a meticulous and intentional connection. September will only meet Thanksgiving. September will only meet Thanksgiving. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mary cried and said, it's too late. The man is dead three days. He said, if you were here, Lazarus would not have died. But he said, even now, even now, huh, even now, it is August. I feel that we should still pray that prayer again. We should pray. I don't know. It may not be for everybody. Father, do in one month what has not been done in five years. Go ahead and pray. Do in one month in my life. Do in one month in the life of my spouse. Do in one month in the life of my children. Do in one month in the destiny of Nigeria. Do in one month in my business. God can bring speed. Speed in your finances. God can change the report in one month. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I think it was, was it US or Canada now during the Sound of Revival conference? A lady gave a very touching testimony. I think for about 21 years, if I recall, she had been trusting God, something related to her papers or so. I hope I get the testimony right. 21 years, and just like that, in a moment. It is beautiful to see God move, but it is beautiful to see him move on time. On time. On time. Even now. Let me speak to someone before we take the last prayer point. Everything that seems to be behind schedule in your life, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, if you have the faith to believe it, September will not meet you still desiring that miracle. I say to you, September will not meet you still desiring that miracle. I send a prophetic word. September, not, not September, will not meet you still desiring that miracle. September will only meet Thanksgiving. September will only meet Thanksgiving. In the name of Jesus Christ. For those of you who think every prophetic word is a joke, the Bible says, despise not prophesying. I'm still saying it again. We still have a few days. I'm not saying the end of September. I'm saying September will not meet you still waiting for that miracle. Honestly, from the depth of my heart, if you believe, you will be surprised at what my God will do. September will only meet you dancing. Only me to rejoicing, only me to jumping as far as that matter is concerned. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter what the situation is. Shortly we'll be praying over the request. You see, when you come to God, take away your pain for a moment. If not, it will disrupt what God is doing. And you will find out that you'll be hearing words that can change you. But something in you will be saying, is it true? Can God make a table in the wilderness? I know God moves, but can he step in for me that fast? It means you don't know God. In case you didn't have the faith to receive, I'm saying it again, that the remaining days left until August is complete, may that be the length of time left for your miracle to arrive. The remaining days left until August is complete, may that be the length of time left before you begin to testify. In the name of Jesus Christ, And the prophet said, by this time tomorrow, and a foolish man said, ah, will this happen? For some of you, the meaning of this is that, 
divine direction like you have never seen from January till now God will show you the real secrets for the results in the name of Jesus Christ for some of you God will raise men that while you are sleeping they are awake for your sake in the name of Jesus Christ let me give you the last prayer point very quickly we have to hurry up my God the last prayer point are you ready to pray now you're going to pray and I wrote this while I was praying as God was just telling me the things we'll be praying on the final thing that I wrote here is we're going to pray the spirits that take away joy listen that when you receive a testimony it doesn't seem to last there is no longevity have you seen people like that as soon as a breakthrough comes they are even afraid because another news will soon follow I don't know about you but take the next two to three minutes you are going to war in the spirit whatever the Lord do it it endures forever Lord I will not laugh today and cry tomorrow I will not celebrate today and cry tomorrow you will not start something and then leave me in shame someone open your mouth say father bring your word to completion in my life and give it longevity in my life open your mouth and pray bring your word to completion everything you have begun bring your word to completion someone is praying bring your word to completion bring your word to completion and give it longevity let me not rejoice today and cry tomorrow let me not celebrate your blessing today and lose it tomorrow let me not celebrate promotion today and lose it tomorrow you don't lift men up and bring them down longevity of impact longevity of relevance hallelujah in Jesus name I don't have time that's why I'm not showing you all the scriptures my apology but the scripture connected to this will not quote it but I'll write it for you I would I would just just um, quote it the Bible tells us that after 10 plagues nine plagues when the tenth one came listen that Pharaoh released the people in a hurry they left such that their door could not even rise he said go 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 in and the Bible says as they left Pharaoh suddenly said no I won't give up on them even though they have gone he said get your army pursue them and bring them back so don't just say I have left Egypt there's still Pharaoh regretting that he left you and is on his way with a chariot are we together now but Miriam sang a song for us he said I will sing unto the Lord for he has triumphed gloriously the horses and its rider have been thrown into the sea we are still going to pray that prayer one more time that everything that represents Pharaoh still wanting to pull me back into my pain of yesterday wanting to, rec to bring back the shame of yesterday to have blessings and lose it to have joy and lose it to have sleep and lose it in the name of Jesus it is drowned forever open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray invest one more minute in prayer drown forever drown forever Drown forever. I have left Egypt. I will never return there as a slave again. I've been called to walk in liberty. I will never return there in shame again. been healed I will never go back to that sickness again the spirit that resurrects trouble resurrects pain resurrects shame resurrects disappointment I curse you over my life in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ very quickly please pass your prayer requests everybody Bring out your prayer requests. If you are yet to write it, 
overflows outside take a minute let me give you one minute while you are praying in the spirit please write your prayer request very quickly Zaria and every other expression those online please pass it to the last person by the left or right to make it easier and begin to pray in the spirit be in this attitude of prayer you are praying seriously you must testify Go ahead and very quickly. Pass your request while you are praying. Don't be distracted. Finally, it is my turn to testify. I have a superior belief system that is anti-curses, anti-yokes, anti-divination. You are praying for yourself, praying for your children, praying for your spouse, praying for your ministry. Very quickly, let's have the prayer request. Ushers, let's make it fast. Very quick, very quick. Let's have it so that we can pray. Please make sure your prayer request gets here. If you are yet to submit, just wave it and an usher will see it. Wave it very quickly. Ushers, let's, let's be fast about that. Hallelujah. Let me give you one more prayer point. I just saw a vision now, and I want us to pray that prayer point. I just saw like blood dripping. I know what it means. We're going to pray one more prayer that every legal access Satan has over my life that is authorizing whether dreams, whether visions, whether repetition of patterns by the blood of the eternal covenant, I severe it from my life finally. Are you ready to pray? Say, Father, Father every legal hold that Satan has over my life, over my destiny, by the blood let it be broken now open your mouth and pray everyone break the legal hold for when the blood speaks there is no more authorization for darkness for when the blood speaks there is no authorization for witchcraft when the blood speaks it speaks mercy triumphing over judgment someone pray every legal hold Satan has over my life every legal hold Satan has over my destiny every legal hold over my children someone pray legal hold bringing patterns of sickness patterns of death patterns of failure patterns of setback patterns of delay patterns of shame Patterns of retrogression, patterns of going up and coming down, patterns of failure at the edge of breakthrough by the blood of the eternal covenant. Let it be broken now. Let it be broken now. Someone pray, let it be broken now in the name of Jesus. Let it be broken. In Jesus name we pray in Jesus name we pray we're about to pray over this but I want to pray a very special prayer now very quickly this prayer on the blood I want to make a decree we don't have time to bring all the people out but please anyone under the anointing ushers just, just help them I know you are multitasking but I want to pray there are people here who are victims of the legal hold of darkness 
and you know that they are victims of this because of repetitive patterns they will pray they will fast and yet you will see it happen again every time the, the devil does not seem to mind your spiritual activity is because he's standing based on a legal hold you have to enforce that which is finished in Christ and engage the blood to command the experience of your victory I want to pray for you now in the name of Jesus Christ there are people here under the sound of my voice inside all the overflows outside connecting online you have seen these recurring patterns of death of failure of defeat strange dreams molestations as you sleep all kinds of satanic manipulations and you wake up you see physical consequences of those things right now I stretch my hands in the name that is above all names for everyone who came for this miracle service carrying any embargo that gives the devil legal access my God I feel fire burning on my hands I decree and declare right now that legal access be broken that legal access be broken be broken be broken be broken be broken in the name of Jesus be broken every ordinance of the fathers covenants they entered with familiar spirits covenants they entered with dark powers and because you are part of their natural descent it seems to be telling on you this night whether you come from the north of Nigeria the south of Nigeria the east the west the middle belt by the blood of the eternal covenant those covenants are broken now broken now covenants of death broken now covenants of failure broken now covenants of setback broken now in the name of Jesus anybody who has said you will pay the price with your children and your children's children I stand as an anointed servant of God and I decree and declare that pronouncement is broken over your life I've shared it here in Koinonia a young man who was always causing his mother pain this is a story I know of many years ago the mother cursed him and she said he will only stop stealing the day a rat stops stealing that's what the mother told him that for as long as you have the mouse rat stealing that he will keep stealing and truly bring him out of the prison he will go back again after a few days whatever is hanging on your head as a result of the anger of someone all mistakes you made and people bowed unto God and cursed you and said certain things that must follow you I declare by the blood that ill speaking is wiped off your head now wiped off your destiny now wiped off your head now wiped off your destiny now I say it again wiped off your head now wiped off your destiny now in the name of Jesus Christ where they said you would die I declare leave where they have said you will go down I declare you will keep rising higher in the name of Jesus Christ for shame I declare receive double in the name of Jesus Christ please stretch your hands over the prayer requests and begin to pray in the spirit stretch your hands over the prayer request begin to pray in the spirit please stretch your hands over the prayer requests pray in the spirit in one minute you are praying in the spirit you are praying in the spirit if you are bringing it bring it quickly quickly please go ahead and pray believers stretch your hands and declare as I've written it here I'm picking up my testimony one by one I wrote them one by one I will record the testimony go ahead and pray to the God of all flesh the giver of every good thing I have not written for shame I have not written for embarrassment I have not written just to write and write and write again the growth required for answers I contend for it the prayers required for answers I contend for it 
the character traits required for answers I contend for it the prophetic word required for answers I contend for it the formula I must engage required for answers I contend for it go ahead and pray you are praying in the spirit you are praying in the spirit everyone I'm laying my hands by faith it is not a ritual we pray by faith believing that the God of all grace is bringing testimonies the God of all grace bringing testimonies the God of all grace changing stories by the power of the Holy Spirit wiping tears opening doors giving testimonies bringing deliverances in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ the Bible says unto he that answers prayer shall all flesh come in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare over every one request written here may you stand on this altar to testify may you stand on this altar to testify one by one you wrote this request one by one you will testify in the name of Jesus Christ and I pray for you from the depth of my heart all that it takes under God to see this request turn to answers may they happen for you if it is growth let it happen for you if it's the ministry of men may they come speedily if it's diligence let it come for you if it's wisdom you need to engage may you receive the wisdom to engage in the name of Jesus Christ every demonic power fighting these answers I decree and declare by the blood of the eternal covenant they are banished and forbidden from influencing these answers in Jesus name in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I call this request a harvest of answers I call this request a harvest of answers for in Jesus name we pray 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 let me speak over someone in the mighty name that is above all names the name of Jesus I decree and declare where you have cried whether in secret or in open beginning from this night may the God of all grace visit you and turn your mourning to dancing and turn your sorrow to joy shout a believing amen. amen I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ receive divine direction amen. divine direction amen. you will know where to go to you will know who to meet amen. in the name of Jesus Christ the error that comes as a result of lack of direction may it not be found in your life amen. in the name of Jesus amen. I pray for you the grace to discern helpers when they show up may God open your eyes so that you will see and you can receive of your helpers in the name of Jesus hallelujah I was told of someone who left his house very sad story whether is it that he left his house going to the market and a car just rammed and he died and the family members did not even know that he died let me pray for you uh, I've had many of those stories but you know I just saw it by text and I was saying can you imagine that that people were calling who who has this dead body and they had to find a way of taking the dead body to the hospital that's not how the saints go the Bible says they who are in Christ sleep and those who sleep sleep at night when you sleep in the afternoon it's called siesta you are expected to wake up am I right I pray for you every manifestation of death to cut short your life either by accident by activities of terrorists by crashes car crash plane crash because you have come for this miracle service I place a mark of exemption upon your head 
I place a mark of exemption upon your head. I place a mark of exemption upon your head. I declare live and not die. Live and not die. As you travel, live and not die. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number two. The Bible speaks about a man called Gamaliel. I found a scripture that blessed me. Acts chapter 5 and verse 34, NIV. A Pharisee called Gamaliel. The Bible says something notable about him and I want to speak it over your life. But a Pharisee named Gamaliel, a teacher of the law, who was honored by all the people. Honored by who? So something can come upon a man that makes you honored not just by your people, but by all the people. I want to release that grace upon you. The grace that can make a man honored by all men, all the people, whether they are connected to you or not, in your place of work, I pray for you. Like it happened to Gamaliel, may that grace for honor rest upon your life. You will be honored by your superiors, you will be honored by your contemporaries. You will be honored by your subordinates. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Let me speak recovery. When you have lost things, you don't need advancement. You need recovery first. Some of you have lost money. Some of you have lost connections. Some of you have lost favor. Some of you have lost many things. You have even lost the secrets that protect your grace. You have lost the secrets that protect your anointing. You've lost the secrets that protect your relevance. I pray for you in the name of Jesus tonight. Let there be a recovery. Let there be a recovery. Let there be restoration. I speak it to you. Receive restoration. Receive recovery. In the name of Jesus Christ. For many of us here, what has kept us down is ignorance. I shared some of them today to liberate you, but the journey must be ongoing. I pray for you. The right information needed in this season to bail you out of a life of ignorance and stagnancy. Access those materials. Access those information. Access those materials. Access those information in the name of Jesus Christ. My final prayer for you before I do the altar call. Final prayer. I will never stop this service be, without praying the prayer of favor for you. I don't know how people live without it. I honestly do not know how people live without the favor of God. It's like living without oxygen. It's like living without the ability to talk, to walk, to hear, to feel. There are people like that in the hospital when you find them, only their neck moves. They can't talk. They can't do anything. They are already blind. They can't hear. It's a terrible way to live. These are the kinds of states that makes you to prefer death than even to be alive. But I pray for you. Favor is a game changer in the life of men. Believe me. When it really rests upon you, genuinely rests upon you, it makes the difference. And it does so fast. I pray for you. Speaking in the area of your finances, speaking in the area of your relationships, speaking in the area of progress and destiny, receive favor. Receive favor. Notable favor. Notable favor. As a deposit of God's grace upon your life, let favor begin to speak. Let it speak immediately. Let it speak now. Let it speak tonight. Let it speak this week. In the name of Jesus. And it will not just speak once. May it speak again and again and again. May it speak again and again and again. May it speak again and again and again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now let me pray for your spiritual life. I should pray for your spiritual life. Some of you are not serious with God spiritually. Please look at me. I'm not doing an altar call yet. This is to everybody. Some of you are just not serious with God. It's an attack. Prayer life, zero. Word study life, occasionally. If you are fortunate and your hand can reach a devotional one morning, lucky for your spiritual life. Else, until the day attack gets serious, you need to standardize your spiritual life 
you need to systematize your growth you need to be more intentional let me speak over these three areas of your life your prayer life your passion for the house of God and your word study life any one of these areas that has gone down or is failing already by reason of this experience this miracle service tonight I declare let fresh fire return to your altar the grace to pray receive it passion for the house of God receive it the grace to study the Word of God receive it the grace to live by the word receive it the grace to engage the word for your profit and receive it in Jesus mighty name I pray in Jesus mighty name I pray amen and amen I decree and declare that your week beginning is blessed in the name of Jesus nothing will be too late in your life I say it again nothing will be too late in your life the only thing that will be too late is trouble the only thing that will be too late is shame the only thing that will be too late is setback but as for you you will enjoy the goodness of God every day will be one testimony added upon another in the name of Jesus Christ I call you blessed and I call you victorious in Jesus mighty name we pray I am certain that the sermons you've embraced have been a wellspring of blessings, lifting your life and igniting a profound commitment to wholeheartedly serve God. We extend a heartfelt invitation for you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, ensuring you remain connected and never miss any upcoming videos by activating the notification bell. Your subscription transcends a mere click. It symbolizes a dedication to continual spiritual growth, enlightenment and empowerment. Embark on this faith-filled odyssey with us, as our channel strives to become a sanctuary for both spiritual seekers and steadfast believers. We staunchly believe in the transformative prowess of God's Word, and our objective is to disseminate messages that deeply resonate with the essence of your soul. Become a part of our community, subscribe, and let the radiant light of divine wisdom, your presence is integral to this uplifting journey. And may the abundant blessings of God overflow in every facet of your life. Amen. Stay connected with us across all our social media platforms at Flaming Channel. And explore more on our website at www.flamingchannel.com. Gratitude fills our hearts. And may God's abundant blessings continue to grace your life abundantly.